I've started recording, by the way, so... Yeah, your character looks so old and you're a No, but look at this. She looks nice. She looks... like she escaped from a mental asylum. What the f***? No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. She it's, doesn't. Do you see her eyes? It's like... That's Mass Effect for you. Yeah, I've got to be sleeping. Let me blow your balls off. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect. We are playing Kokoro M. Shepard. And the episode is Your Pain, My Pleasure. Yes. <laughs> this man needs our help. Let's talk to him and see Shepherd. what happens. Oh, yes, My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the Look intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Here. He definitely needs help. Let's, uh, I'm happy to help. Let's see. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Right. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Indeed, yeah. Oh, hello. Shepard, what can I do for you now? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details I'll about I'll be going our... now. Goodbye, Commander. Just to see if there's anything new since we just figured out everything. Ah, oh, it's this guy. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yeah, I'm here for uh, Ceres. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya oh, is Samesh. having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. Yeah. I wish I could help him. Why can't you? Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Of course. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. Oh, the dear. tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, mm. you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Good. Now, don't you lie to me. All right, anything? Hello. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Right, okay, so we got that done. There's a quest over this way, so oh it's back to the dude. You can also talk to that uh, lady at the um consort. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Hmm. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. Good. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Can only imagine. Oh, at least that's done. Oof. Right, where's the... Right, we need to get to the console, so it's on the other side. Oh, we can take the bridge. Okay. That's not Commander. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Yep. 
Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. But it was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Oh. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. Okay. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. All right. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Kokoro! Yeah. Raise your wand. Oh my goodness. Bethany! Bethany! <laughs> Not that wand! Vibrating stick. Okay. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Alright. Oh, well, I've got a little trinket. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. So long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this time. Alright. So we're able to help her out and, um... Maybe we get some. Pardon, what? You know what I mean. No. We just helped her out with a objective. Uh-huh. Right, let's see. And then you're gonna get some. No. It's not about getting some. Ah, for you maybe. Um. Oh, let's go to the den because we have um that sister to talk to, and then we can head to Csec as well for the other dude. At the same time, I think. If I remember this quest correctly, I think that's where we end up going. Oh, it's 50-50. That's back to normal. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? What's happened to your hair? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. The girl. Chill. you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they could run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we better go find out. Yeah, we got the evidence from Fist's office. Awesome. Did that at the same time, I believe. Oh. Huddle up! 
word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. Thanks. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Dirty magazines. Okay. Fan. Okay, so he's like gonna come around later. Talk to Inclaris Den. He told you to meet you at CSEC. Ah, yeah, and then we need to also go CSEC. So it's this way, I believe. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full blown crime syndicate. Mm. That's quite good. That's up this way. Oh, two. Okay. So it was here. I remember partly of the objective, so I knew we had to go back up here eventually. Do two at the same time. Hello again. Hello. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Afraid so. I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Mm. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I. Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Ugh. Damn me. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? Too late, Volus. You had your chance. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Uh -huh. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. Oh. Dang it. Don't wanna... I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? He's admitted to stealing data from his workplace. Really? I think you'd better come with me. But, uh... I'll take it from here, Commander. Thank you. But the All data... All right, save it for your lawyer. All right, uh, let's go back. All right, and we're back. Um, didn't take too long, took like Detective a minute. Detective come into my office. I want to... No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Sorry? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. Thank you. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part yeah. of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Dang it. Another... Well, that didn't take too long. We're back at the uh, thing, so we're going to go now to... Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Nobody Citadel this, uh... and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh, that's it. Citadel, Embassy, Citadel Tower. Let's go.
Here we are at the Citadel Tower. Let's get into this. There's no way the council can ignore us this time. Saren's days as a specter are done. Yeah. Don't congratulate yourself too much. All this time you were hunting for evidence. Saren was moving forward with his plan. That's true. Sadly, Rex is correct. The more time we spent doing this investigation, we could have been stopping Saren. That's why I like Rex. He's a bit of a realist to keep us on our toes. But at least he can lose his spectre status and we can actually do something about it. So, that's a good news too. Double-edged sword. But we got there. Let's stole this. Oh, that's a cool water fountain. Sploosh. sleeping they apparently explode when they're stopped by doing their Come duty Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council awesome Eden news. Prime was a major victory the beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit and one step closer to the return of the Reapers you wanted proof there it is this evidence is irrefutable ambassador Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. All right. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Mm. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I'm gonna use this one. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! That's a going fleet too far. cannot track down one man. Yeah. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Yes, and me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Come on. 
Makes the most sense. Commander Shepard, step forward. Hello. Thank you for doing this. There's a lot of people. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. Yes. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Aye, aye. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. All right. Get a new ship. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Don't blame him. Yeah, we haven't done anything. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. That's what we need. I'm hoping. Okay, and what was the training? Lovely. And then we got Rex. So we're gonna give him more shotgun thing. And then more combat armor probably. Oh yeah, we forgot for you. Two shotgun. Let's go. I think we can talk to more people now. Oh, happy as can be. We're a specter. We're above the law. I'm waiting to speak with Hello. Congratulations on becoming the first human specter, Commander. Thank you. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the specters. We need people like you to deal with our problems. What kind of problems? Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. Okay. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. Don't worry. I'll find them. We'll Admiral. go there. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. Hopefully so. Oh. Who's this? I hope he's okay. Who? I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. 
I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Come on. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. Okay. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Okay. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. The Majesty. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. No defenses? That seemed a bit silly. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Yeah. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. I'll do it. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Yep. Hmm. What I learned recently, these kind of fountains, the water doesn't stay in and basically goes around the sides. And it doesn't go back in, so how does the water refill? Does it just pump it from another place, or does it, like, drip it into it? So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than c -Sec? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats c -Sec. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. <laughs> Um, I like Rex. He's a good character. Alright, let's see if there's any quests around here, because they normally pop up. Nope. Uh, is there a... What's it called? Alright, why is there a quick point? Is there... Mm, might as well just go to the walls this one. Uh, we need to go to C-Sec, so... Let's just get to the teleportation point. I'll be in C sec in a second, so catch you there. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Ooh, extra when asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Hmm. We also need to go to CSEC for the Spectre office. Maybe get some extra rewards. see what we can have. Plus we got our dialogue charm up to a decent amount, so it should be alright. Hello. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. No problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Cool. That went up in price. Okay, um, what's that? At the bottom? Bio amp. Hmm. 
sell some stuff. Oh, we'll sell it as soon as we, um... Thank you.